Welcome back. I'm Roy with Rugged Badger Racing and Team Parts Badger. This is our Champ Car and Grid Life Miata, and today we're going to be talking about brakes, specifically brake ducting. Now, I have Kyle from Beyond Motorsports. Hey, Kyle. Hey. So, what do you have here? So, here we have our brake shield and ducting setup. All right, and why do we need brake ducting? So, this is important because it improves cooling, bearing, bearing wear, and brake pad wear. All right. So I have a setup on the car already. Now, one of the reasons why I started playing around with brake ducts and I've been working with Beyond Motorsports on this as well, is I was having trouble with the inside rotor face overcooling. And what would happen with some other ducts on the market, it would overcool that inside rotor face and crack because we were running splitter ramps. As you can see on our splitter here, we have these ramps with the car cover. You can see that ramp. What that does when you're turning, it directs all this cool air directly on the outside rotor face. It overcools that rotor face and it will crack your rotor. So the idea with these shields, that's gonna shield air from hitting the outside rotor face, but also direct air exactly where we want it. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. All right, so I have uh, this setup that I've been working with Beyond Motorsports on. Um, what we're going to do, I think this is about a two and a quarter inch opening, and I don't think that's enough. Uh, we've been having issues with brake wear a lot more than I expect, and we also lost a couple bearings. I believe that was due to heat. So with this new setup, what's the opening size on this new setup? So this new setup is a three inch, so hopefully this will, this will help you out a little better. All right, so let's go ahead and get these installed. This will work nicely because we'll go ahead and get those made it up with the new splitter once that's done. Let's get started. So we're gonna get started by taking off the duct that's already there. Um, and then we'll go through the installation of this duct. So let's get this off the car. All right, so that was pretty easy. Uh, just three bolts to get that off the car. We have this set up. Now, I bought new ducting as well. So this ducting we've had for maybe four or five seasons, this new ducting, um, you can just see the, uh, the color condition and then some of these ended up getting pretty compressed uh, over to the old duct here. So we're gonna go ahead and cut some of this to length and then uh, install the new plate. All right, so for starters, we gotta prep this thing. So we gotta bend these tabs, depending on the direction you go. Yep. And what's the purpose of these tabs? So the purpose of these tabs are to prevent the hose from collapsing on the inside. Okay, so the tabs come in and they're gonna support the inside of the hose? Yes, correct. All right. And then what are you using there? Just some pliers? Just some funky looking needle nose. All right. All right, so we're going ahead, we're attaching our hose here. So you bend these tabs in, the tabs actually go inside the hose? Yep. Okay, and then we use metal zip ties and the metal zip ties are what attaches the hose to the uh, shield, right? Correct. And then we're gonna take our X-Acto knife here and we're gonna line up with our holes and we're gonna just cut a slit two coils back. All right, and then uh, and then put the metal zip ties in place, right? Yeah, and you don't need to fill all of these holes. You can do every other one. Our testing's showing that that's fine. All right, there you have it. Let's get this thing installed. All right, so we got our hose connected. I think we used, what, one, two, three, four zip ties. And uh, yeah, now she's ready to bolt in place. It's on there nice and snug. So this basically just goes there and then bolt it in place. And then uh, probably use maybe Loctite red, uh, Loctite orange on those bolts. Yeah, Loctite orange. All right, let's get it bolted on. All right, so we have this bolted in place, got these torqued to about 20 foot pounds or so, and then the hose, so this is gonna route and we're gonna follow the sway bar, right? Yes. So what we want, we want this nice and smooth, no significant kinks, and then you got, what is that, just big zip tie, we're just gonna zip tie it to the sway bar? Yep, correct. All right. Now, just to confirm everything moves freely, you can see how that, how the hose is able to flex as that's running through its range of motion. And you're going all the way to full lock there. Yep, that's full lock right there. Okay, all the way. And that's full lock. All right, yeah, that looks almost perfect, huh? Yeah. There we go. All right, so now that that duct's installed, we're gonna go ahead and cut this to length here. So we're gonna use an X-Acto knife. We're gonna cut around the silicone and then there's a support wire inside. We have the tin snips for that support wire. 
Now we're using the other one as a guide for the rough length. We're actually gonna cut it a little bit long, probably right around here, even though eventually we'll cut it back. But for now, let's just cut it to about here. All right, I have the splitter on and I have the ducts connected. So uh, you can see here, I put that in place. I actually used an adapter uh, that couples the hose to the ducting. Uh, you can just get that on Amazon. I'll try to include a link below. Uh, the ducting is tied here to the front splitter. In this case, we actually uh, uh, riveted it uh, to the outside. Previously, I actually had this held behind in just a hole, but I don't think that was getting enough, enough airflow. So now we move to this style. So the, the ducting itself, this runs along here. We have one zip tie holding this up to the sway bar. Um, that's gonna allow everything to move around just fine. And you can see where the duct opens up here, uh, right into the hub area, um, so that it ejects uh, through the inside of the rotor, but it's not directed at the inside rotor face, which is a big problem. So uh, here I actually have uh, Brofab hubs, um, but obviously it looks very similar uh, with the Miata hubs itself. So. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the brakes back together. We'll call this a wrap. Uh, I'll have all the links below. Uh, I appreciate everybody for watching. If you like this content, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you.